So I went to Jason Rogers, who wrote his whole master's thesis on deep faking, videos, imagery, used in legal and other systems. And I asked him, what do you see as the biggest challenge in detecting fake generated scientific content? And how might researchers stay one step ahead of those creating the fakes? I believe the biggest challenge with AI generated science content is going to be the risk of false positives. So the example that I can think of here is that a lot of academic institutions use like online submission portals, such as Turnitin, Moogle, Canvas, things like that. And these have automated plagiarism checkers inside. Recently, they've also started bringing in automated AI checkers to see if there's any AI generated content in there. It's, uh, I've seen online of people uh, complaining or claiming, sorry, that their submissions, which are 100% original content, have been flagged as having a high content of AI generated media and it's been then either dismissed or flagged for additional review or they're being penalized for it in some way. I don't know whether their claims are true or not because I don't know the people and I haven't seen their submissions so I can't comment on that I'm afraid but that this is a potential risk for it there. So in short I think my, my biggest worry is false positive. <laughs>